Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the ABS show. Make sure you subscribe and add us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for joining us each week and watching us. You guys are the real MVP. Do you know who else is the real MVP? Our next, you know, guest in the studio. She's always, you know, coming in every now and then. Welcome back, Nostreya. Hey. How are you? I'm great. How are you? How are you guys? <laughs> Did We're you get great. the memo? Wait, I'm confused. Because you're black like us. Oh, oh you wear like a yeah. dark color? It's like we all planned okay. it and we didn't. It's meant to have to. We're meant right. to be together right now. Right. <laughs> I love your makeup. You look beautiful. Thank you. As I love usual. Yours. Thank you. How's everything else going for you? Everything's going well. Yeah. Great. You, you know one of the main questions that we always get when you when you come in here? The people want to know, are you single? Like, yeah, what is going on? What's up? Are you in a relationship? Like, they want to know. They always hit me up in my DM. Oh, oh really? Oh, they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. They are? Oh, okay. <laughs> Charlie, who is that girl? Who is that girl? Okay. So tell them, are you single? Are you looking? What's going I, on? I'm single. I'm not ready to mingle. Um, yeah. I'm single for many reasons. I'd rather just focus on what I need to do. So if you as, went, as soon as I reach to that goal, I, hey. If you but want to come in with the G wagon and F wagons, mm -hmm. you're still not <laughs> You see, you still I, feel like, I feel like even they bring that stuff, they feel like they can control me because they brought me cars. Or, yes, yes. Um, if they have money, they might. No, I want to have my own money. So nice. yes, I like that, <laughs> boss girl. That's yes, a, that's a feminist. Yeah. All right, so let's let's dig in. Thank you guys. You know, thank you for joining us. We're gonna dig thank into you the. For me. We're gonna dig into the topics. Okay. All right. All right like so, that. a Nigerian man. Exactly. Say that again, a Nigerian what? man. Why did you look at me like that? No, but I'm just, I'm, just, I'm giving well, the people the, the story. Maybe, maybe it's good news, but yeah. you know, relax. <laughs> but a Nigerian man, 29-year-old Nigerian man, rapes <laughs> an 85-year-old woman. <laughs> Let me look back at it. <laughs> and put her into coma. The fact that he did that, he looked at you. Exactly. And this, this is not good news. <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so basically what happened was he doesn't look twenty nine. Oh, oh, this is the guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the guy. He's twenty nine. He walked into um, an okay. old lady's house. <coughs> he was drunk from partying, mm -hmm. and the uh, the woman let her let him in into the house. As the woman was asleep, you know, just felt some up and down going on. This <gasps> man was on top of the woman, raping her into coma. <gasps> the lady passed out a few hours later. Did she die? Did she didn't die. She she came back to to, to life. life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> after after some oh, after, after some couple of hours, you know. So the man has been arrested, and what the crazy thing about it is he admits to the crime. To the crime, he admits to doing it, he but said? he said that. It wasn't his fault that the lady went into coma because he only went two rounds. Hey, oh. <laughs> only two rounds. Are you kidding me? Hey. First of all, 85-year-old woman. Yes. But you sure it wasn't consensual and then she went, went into Excuse the coma? Excuse me, did you just hear me say rape? <clears throat> I don't know, because I'm just wow. wondering, why would an 85-year-old woman open the door in the middle of the night for, for a young somebody, boy? Yeah. You that know how, doesn't make You know sense. how like, most of grandmothers are. They are very right. compassionate. They, they see a young in. boy, mm -hmm. you know. They welcome them in and stuff like that. But yeah, she welcomed trouble now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's in the strange. middle of the night. In the middle of the night, like, somebody opening the drinking. guy. He could have killed her. He could have robbed her. He could have done so many yes, things. Do you have any idea what part of Nigeria this happened? Um, It happened in one of the states. Does it matter? No, it has to matter, because most of the Crimes come from one region. I know what I'm saying. Don't do this. This is what, why what region? We're always separate the us. Northern region of the country. Don't do that. Just find out. Nigeria said, "Don't do don't that." Don't do that. Don't Where do that. I have a couple Nigeria, questions. Nigeria, Wait, Nigeria so when the lady went into a okay. coma, mm -hmm. he it actually got. Hmm. Go ahead. No, sorry. Go I'm ahead. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> when the lady went into a coma, he called the hospital exactly. for the lady. I, I think he thought that the lady died. But a few hours later, the lady came back, and I think the lady reported. That probably uh, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, wow. Yes. But this story, somehow, I don't understand. <laughs> First of all, you open the door for a young man, 20-something, mm -hmm. to enter your house at that time of the night. What did he say to her that made her allow him in to come into the house? Look at him now. Because he said he was drunk, right? What is Osun? What? State Ocean, Ocean State. Ocean State. Yeah, Ocean that's State. where it happened. Okay, that's the western part of Beyonce Nigeria. Beyonce was Ocean. Mm -hmm. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce is from Ocean State. Is it no, Ocean? she's not. No, I mean, is Ocean Beyonce is, a, is Nigerian? No, she's not, but she dressed <laughs> as like an Ocean. What is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, yeah. Th this is, listen, this is what goes to show that a lot of men out there don't mind where they stick it. As long as it's a hole and it's wet. Hey. What would attract you to, to an 85 to rape? Old woman? 
Don't scratch your head, but what would attract no, you to rape an 85 year old? That's your grandmother, that's your great great grandmother. Like, what is wrong with you? And it yeah. looks like he enjoyed it too. Homeboy went too round. Too and, and <laughs> said that <laughs> it couldn't have been. Must have been tied. And he was like, I only did two said, rounds too. He said it couldn't have been from his waist power because it, he only went two rounds. So yeah. Do you know what it is? Two rounds, which means he mm, mm, the first so, round. So I guess raping wasn't the issue. It was just the fact mm, that, that she went to a coma. Yes. Okay. You see, this is why we're, yes. we're you know, we're yeah. all messed up. Uh, well, look at him. I would, uh, I don't know. As an old lady, she probably looked at him and said, "You know what? This guy looks like he needs help." You know, because <laughs> he has no shoes on here. Okay, um, so I'm. It's his pants. He got dirt on his pants. Like I don't know. He looked like he went through a lot. And the he lady, needs help. the lady was hurt from the from the rape. Mm. No, but so the thing is, what made her, <laughs> you know, take him in? He was exactly. drunk. He w it was in the middle of the night, so okay. she just was like, "Come in, have you know, sleep on the couch." And then in the middle of the night, you know, while the lady was sleeping, she, um, he went in there and did what he had to do. I'm uh, reading another article story from really Daily Post, mm -hmm. and it says that the boy does errands for the lady. Yeah, so the lady knew him. him. You know? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's now, what it said. That he yeah. lives in the same area and had gone on errands for the old woman several times mm -hmm. in the past. Mama asked me to sleep on on the couch in the passage. I was already drunk and did not know what happens afterwards. So now he's claiming that he was drunk. So yeah. So now everybody's drunk. <laughs> it's like it's like as soon as something happens, we blame, blame it, it on, on the, the alcohol. alcohol. Mm -hmm. And there's like, a song like that. Blame it on the alcohol. Uh, 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 so I think that's what is <laughs> happening now. But um, moving forward, I think people in Nigeria, people everywhere. You shouldn't mm -hmm. trust any, like, you shouldn't trust these people just because you see them, you know, in your area daytime. or in your neighborhood in, you know, daytime. It doesn't mean but it that you should bring them in. But it kind of does make sense because, see, this is, uh, this Somebody is that she knows. Yes, she knows him. Mm -hmm. so yeah, but she still shouldn't have opened the door for him at 11 p.m. They probably PM. built, like, some type of relationship It doesn't before. matter, though. I mean, it's definitely not her fault that she got raped, but that was just crazy. That was just, like... I don't know, maybe because she's 85, she wasn't thinking well, maybe. So, yes, so if I come to your, your house in the middle of the night <laughs> and I'm saying that, oh my gosh, I was going somewhere, I missed my train. Yes, can I can I sleep on your couch for like one night? We you wouldn't are, let me in? Oh, hold on a you second, will. we are around the same age and of course I would let you in. But you're So I can rape you? No, you are What? Say that, that's exactly what so she that's probably exactly what like. the lady. No. No, but that's exactly what the lady was thinking <laughs> yeah. that, oh, not I'm an old lady. He's not going to. He doesn't that's want true. me. Yeah. He doesn't so. want me. You know the reason why Charlie can't use himself? Because this obviously. Okay, I'm putting myself. No, I'm I go. Just, to, I, I live half. In, hold on. I live half in Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. So I know exactly who this young boy is. Everybody has. I have that. A young boy that does all my errands You'll for me. Mine. You send mm -hmm. him, he does, he buys you food, because it's Africa, you don't do anything yourself. So everybody has that. If he came, he can't even show up at my house after 6 p.m., he knows better. He wouldn't even dare come and show up at my door yeah, after so you're 6 missing the point. The point is, you trust somebody and then they do this you to you. You don't trust those people. You know not to trust them. When you go, when you send no, them to the market, well, how do you, you know, know how much everything costs. So you call male friends? How do you know he not is to not trust her them? Friend. That's her small boy. It's different. Then, but you don't you know. They probably feel of course, like I have male friends. It goes to show you that even if your friends can do this to you, how more of a stranger? So I'm asking you, if your male friends hit you up and say, "Oh, can I crash on your couch?" and then you trust them enough to open Let the door, them, they, they come in and do you. that to you, and uh, you know it can happen to anybody. anybody. That's what it's I'm true. saying. Anybody. So my my the lesson that I'm taking from this is you can't trust anybody. You trust, but you verify. I would sleep on the couch. I wouldn't even want to come sleep next to you in your room. So I don't know if you talk about you don't trust nobody. No, I don't trust nobody. So if, if you want to let people in, make sure you have a lock. Lock their penises or something. No, lock, lock your room. Lock your, or lock room. your room. Yeah. That's true. Listen, your room. don't let anybody in your house, period. That is my, you, do you know what's funny? I live in an apartment, right? And when, you know, in America, New York, you have to buzz the bell for the apartment. Yeah. yeah. You could buzz my bell a hundred million and if times. if I don't know you're coming? If I'm not expecting anybody, yeah. I don't even go and ask who Same. is it. I don't even take unless calls. Unless I'm expecting I somebody. Know. I don't even mm. wait for you to come upstairs to get to my door. And when you get to my door, I set my peephole in such a way that it can't move. It's on permanent look. So you don't hear me because you know mo you know most people you you have to move right, it and you hear the yeah. sound. Mine is set on permanent, don't move. So when I look through it, you don't even um Mm. You don't hear no, it. So, that's right. so if I'm no. not expecting anybody, I don't answer. So that's right. You've never crashed at like a friend's house before, a male friend's house. 
Uh-huh. Friend, exactly. So you go to your friend's house, you sleep on the couch, and the next thing you know, your friend is coming it, to you're you. You're right. He can so rape it can you. Happen, yeah, it can, you're can right. You. So your my thing is, you. it can happen to everybody. But with you know, sorry to the old lady, and that man needs to be in jail. And maybe, maybe, maybe he's not okay. Mentally? Mentally. Like, let's just keep trying. 85-year-old like really lady. Not. I'm just thinking. How does I that happen? I just think that he was drunk and horny and he was just like, F it. I don't care. Even if it's you're drunk and horny, you can't see it. Yeah, he was just drunk and horny and, <laughs> and he, he was like, F it. There's a whole day. You use soap or something or cream. What's so the problem? Cream. Cream. Right. Oh, are you trying to tell me something? Cream. I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, my God. Let me find out that's what the money does. All right. But we're going to move on, though. We're going to move on. Let's move on. It's a fine boy. They say this. Safest way. According to Timani, you so. All right, so we're gonna move on. Timani, what do you have for us? Um, I must drop my points. <laughs> <laughs> they say we don't know. We don't want to know say, by your soaping. No, I, I, I no. I, you I, said no. so. What they kind of soap? They say the safest sex is masturbation. It is. Who said? No HIV. Hello. No pregnancy. Oh, the best sex. Hello. The safest. I didn't say best. Oh, I didn't Why say best. Why are you up on my hand? Oh, oh sorry. Why are you up on my hand? Ah, oh God. All right, all right. All right, hey, so we, all right, so we're gonna move on. My though. people. <laughs> so uh um, what is sex, <laughs> masturbation. What is going on Clean with Daddy though. Freeze? Yes. <laughs> Daddy Freeze. I'm trying to move on to the next topic. Right. How, how did he go from using cream to Daddy Freeze? I, no, I what's going on with that today, Timani? Right, go ahead. What's going on? No, but the next topic is really sensitive. It's not even funny. Oh, okay. Daddy Freeze is his popular name. His name is Ifedai or Larinde. And he's a popular Nigerian OAP. He's a celebrity. He once worked for Cool FM. Now he's working in Wazobia FM. What's the OAP? On air personality for oh. radio. Oh. That's what we call oh. it. OAP. Okay. Oh, you know we call it Dick Jockey, but hey. No, OAP. So Daddy Freeze has been on the news for over two weeks now. Mm -hmm. Daddy Freeze says that we should stop paying tithes to our pastors. Mm. That is wrong. That the pastors are using our monies to buy private jets, to build houses and form their own families, and all the members of the church are poor. So he explained with some facts in the Bible. He gave um, reference to Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and he talked about the Levites. He said back in the days, the Levites were a particular group of people that we knew them as the priest or whatever. And when God instructed us to give the Levites our tithes, he didn't say we should bring our money to them every Sunday every month it was your harvest for the whole year like the end of the year yeah you bring your harvest one tenth of your harvest yeah and then that one tenth of your harvest you take out 10 percent again from that 10 percent i get my point so mm -hmm. it's like one percent and bring it to the levi and actually then tithes used to be foodstuffs mm -hmm. animals you know your harvest but if the church is too far from you sell those food stuff and use them make money. money then go to that church when you get there use that same money to buy stuffs around that place and eat with the levi yeah so that was how titan was in the bible days wow i, I mean i get I, I think i get where he's coming from but we're not just a bunch of farmers around you know so mm. people do it with cash because mm. harvest like what do you mean I, I, I'm not planting yeah but yams, his point is that, his so point I, is that no, you I shouldn't pay tight every Sunday no but I get it but every month but you should pay tight end of the year and he even said once in three years but there are church there are other church that has that option as well you could do it at the end of the year yeah I think there are churches that do that as like well the Catholic church, they um, do harvest. this goes back to what yeah, I've always been saying about the Bible the Bible does say a lot of stuff it does say like a whole bunch of stuff People interpret it differently. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have different type of churches. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they're using that same Bible, Jehovah's Witness, they see it differently. Differently. Pentecost differently. And, you know, so it's, it's all different. So maybe that's how he is seeing it. Seeing it. Personally, tight. Mm. Sometimes it's hard for me to pay tight as well. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, according to, <laughs> but according to what I, I read in the Bible... You do it that way. You you get more. You so it's it's like in the form so of a seed, seed yeah. where you plant the seed. I know my, my friend doesn't want to hear that. My, my my friend Roxanne, she hates when the pastor says seed, plant a seed. She's like, what? That's my money. But I get it. You give that way. You you know you can get more in return. It works for some people and it doesn't work for others. Yeah, I other think people. it's based on what you believe yeah. and you your think? own interpretation. Do you pay tight? Oh, you said you don't go to church. I yeah. don't. I don't go to church. Oh. But um, there's something wrong with that. 
I know last time I went to Nigeria, which was like two years ago, I've seen that happen. I'm just like, I don't know. What, what is this really about? Like, mm -hmm. are we really worshiping when we're here to worship, mm -hmm. or are we just here just to? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see. I don't see the reason. The for reason it. behind it. Yeah. For paying tithes. For, for paying tithes. tithes. I mean, mm -hmm. this is this is honestly this is what I see about offering and tithe. Mm -hmm. If if I dress up, wake up in the morning, dress up, put on my my clothes and put my colon on and go to church. To me, I see that as, a, as an offering. I'm coming to church. What? To, to me, I see, and I will explain why. Okay. I see that as an offering because I could have been sleeping. So you're doing God a favor. No, I'm not saying? doing God a favor. What? <laughs> I'm not doing God a favor, but I'm saying people are sleeping. People are like sleeping. That's going to people. I, exactly. But I chose mm -hmm. to offer myself to God by coming to church. So God should be grateful. No, we should all be grateful I that I'm at church. The pastor should be grateful. The usher should be grateful. The choir should and be grateful be because enough. Charlie Jones in church. And that should but be I'm, enough, right? No, yeah. it's, it's not enough. Okay. It's not enough. But there are, my thing is there are other ways to give thanks to God. It's true. That's where I'm coming That's what from. He's saying. So there are other ways to give thanks to God. Like, like where I work, like I work at a shelter. To me, that's God's work. Right. Like I work with homeless sh homeless people, yeah. right. you know. That's so exactly to me, it's a form saying. of right, God's work. Right, right. You know, people can look at it differently, but to me, when I go and I help these young mothers with no fathers and no homes get homes, it, it gives me joy. It give it, like I feel like I'm doing God's work. Right. So there's different ways to to thank God. There's different ways to show your appreciation to God. So God. that's how I see it. It's a very sensitive topic yeah. because yeah. he said he's just to mention he's also a leader of a new movement called Free the Sheep Movement, and Free the Sheep is like thinking outside the pressures of society, mm -hmm. the, 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 the doctrines of old that you have to do this, you have to live this type of way, because we're in a very sensitive generation now where we ask why. Yeah. Everybody asks the question why. So what he was saying also, like what you said, is that how could you wake up in the morning Every Sunday, you go to church and you feel pressured. You are scared because you don't have your tithe. Yes. The, pa the pastor makes you yes. feel like because mm -hmm. you don't have your tithe, you don't pay your tithe, you are less blessed. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I'm you so know, excited. Like I'm that. so happy that you That's mentioned what he's that. To say. Because there are a lot of Ghanaian churches out there, <laughs> because I go to Ghanaian church, that like they they, they, they they pray special prayers for people that come to church with their tithe. Yeah, they be like, oh, who came to, like that. Um, who has their tithe today? They all get up mm. and then they, they pray for them. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they're like, okay, so offering time. It's like, what so is this? Are we taking attendance? Like, I, what I is going I on? I just don't like going to church, period. He, Especially the, like the main focus is Pentecostal I'm church, missing. though. But what? what I'm just cut me um, off. Oh. No, go ahead. Oh, okay, shit. but like, ooh, ooh, hey. ooh, ooh. So I guess like, okay. Like so the last last two years ago, when I went to Nigeria, yeah. my uncle's like, you have to go to church. And I heard about mm -hmm. the churches in Nigeria. I heard about how they judge people. You know, you know how I dress. I don't like wearing bras. What? I, I, I church? don't. I don't like wearing bras. I don't have any breasts to even be wearing bras, anyways. You see? So mm. one time, <laughs> hey, one, one time I got I got into church. I had this, this um a tight skirt, and you know I try to be presentable. Brothers. I, I wore bras this time. That's oh. a distraction. And but still, it was a, it was still a problem. Little kids came to me. Ooh, she's not wearing anything. I said, I hey, kid? hey, kids, kids, <laughs> like but I'm like what? And then everybody else just looking at me. This girl, she's look at her, just giving me. I'm like, this is why I don't like coming to church. Yeah, because and you everybody feel will judged. come in. Yeah. They'll come with chicken, um, like real life chicken, bringing it to the front. They'll oh, come with the yams, yeah, bringing yeah. it to the front. I'm just like, okay, but yeah, there's people around us that's still starving. People are starving for like they're even working for a dollar, like yeah. just a dollar every single day. day. But guess what? They still have smile on their faces. But so, at the end of the day, yeah, you have a point. You guys have, have all made a lot of valid points, but I think that. What he is, I'm not sure if it's because I haven't read the Bible from A to Z. I'm not going to lie. So I don't mm. know exactly what the Bible mm. says. But if what he's saying is true, if you've mm. read the Bible, so what yeah. he's saying is true. I read those is, verses, is, okay. what he was saying. Because he, what he said is that most pastors, they like to pick a paragraph and, and preach on that paragraph. Exactly. They don't want to read what was before so, it and what was after it. So this is what I talk about all the time, about people taking things to the extreme and becoming fanatics. There's nothing wrong with giving tights, but giving moderately. But I think what he's really trying to address are these super, super rich African pastors, pastors. Mm -hmm. angry. that are like, they are wealthy. I mean, they have private jets, multiple homes. A pastor should not be in a Rolls Royce for what? If, if, if you told me that, okay, you were putting the pastor in a, um, in a bulletproof car, I would understand. Okay, you're trying to keep the pastor safe. But the bullet 
Who, yeah. But the Rolls Royce is not going to do anything special yeah. for the pastor. So these pastors, this guy is right. Why are you so wealthy and 90% of your church is poor? poor? At least give some of it back. Employ them. Do what you have to do to help them. And I agree with him. There's you know, no reason why you should keep giving. Religion. You should. And you know the painful part of it is that these pastors, they build schools that even the congregation cannot afford. Uh. Like... It's a fact in Nigeria. Most pastors have very, very good universities, and even their congregation can't afford to pay the for fees. The because most of them so have turned. So why are you building the school? Who are you building for? Because Who most of them have turned it into a business. Most pastors start out legit, but as you're in it and you see the money and you see everything that you can achieve from it, most of them end up turning it into something else. Yeah, that's exactly um, what it is, and and I agree with him. I don't see he's I'm totally not against, right. I'm not against paying tight because I don't know everything about it, but I pay my tight because I go to church. Mm -hmm. But every Sunday, though, do you think that like no, 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 no. I t I even tell my mom that sometimes because my mom is like really into church, and sometimes I look at her and I'm like like literally every single money my mom gets, she gives a tenth of it to church. If I dash my mom a hundred dollars, but that's not that's not her earning. She didn't earn it. You dashed that money. She will still give 10% of give it. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Th that's just what it is. But that's what I'm saying is that church is a it's business. really hard to differentiate <laughs> between it. That's why some of us, we say the things we say or we try not to get too engulfed in it. Because yeah. getting too engulfed in it will have you... Trouble. Do, mm -hmm. Yeah. All, all right, right so we're going to move on to the next topic, yeah. guys. Who got us? So you guys all know that Nigeria is one of the produces like a lot of oil, probably more than like most African countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're like all of these oil scandals and stuff that goes on in Nigeria. Yeah. However, 180 million of Nigerians are like struggling with electricity. Like it's still a country that is producing so much oil, but can't even produce enough oil for its people. So um, a Russian plant has just signed a deal with Nigeria to build two power plants that is supposed to help Nigeria with electricity. I believe they've built one in the east and one in central Nigeria is, is the plan. I mean, um, Russia. they haven't done it yet, but that's they just finally signed the deal. They've been talking about these deals since 2009, and the deal just got signed. Is so, it the same Russia, like Russia, Russia? Yes, by a Russian company. Okay, so a Russian Eastern, company. Yes, an Eastern European oh, okay. country. Yep. Yep. Wow. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? Um, because, you know, this is like going back to slavery. I'm sorry. I just can't help <laughs> it. But <laughs> it's just like, you know how, you know, the British, they took over Nigeria and all that. Mm -hmm. Many reasons why we don't even have 24-hour light. I feel like we're still being controlled by Americans in a way, if you don't, if you really. By the British, yeah. But not the or British. The I would say Americans. I would say Americans why, why now. Why not blame it on America? Western world, right? Oh, what? just, okay, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So now Russians. They're white, right? Mm. And and may I say, not to cut you off, but no, with, with, with what you're saying, too, is that they're not also disclosing what the deal is worth. Okay. So Nigerian citizens so don't even know no. how much they no. are spending. Knowing, like, the government in Nigeria, all they know how to do is collect money. True. So once there's money involved, they really don't care what's going on with their people. Now the Russians are coming over to low-key take over. If, this is just once... Once people or whoever, what country have a, a power over something, they will be have to have they will be able to have power over the country. Yeah, and that's big. Mm -hmm. Electricity. What, yeah. That is very big. It's a, it's a control. You're controlling the whole nation. Like I Listen, don't, I'm, I'm from, scared. From my experience, like you, you over here blaming the British and the Americans. But from my experience with electricity, even in Ghana. There are so, so many illegal connections going on. It's crazy. People are using illegal legal means to get electricity in their in their houses. Mm -hmm. People people don't even listen. I know a man <laughs> when I used to be in Ghana, right? This man we lived in like in a compound house. So compound house meaning that like it's just a uh, little little houses, but everybody's like together, and we all use one meter. And then you know when the bill comes in, everybody devises but and pays. But the thing pay. is, we're hold capable on, of doing hold this on, hold on, on, on. So let me finish. That, right? So let me finish. Okay, so ahead. there is this one man living in the compound house and always doesn't pay full the full amount, mm -hmm. right? He always like pays for like let's say like two points, meaning he he just has a fridge and a, and the TV, so he only pays for that. Mm -hmm. Not knowing this man has AC, ceiling fan, DVD, <laughs> da, 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 but doesn't account to it. So every time like there's an inspection. He goes and hides all those things, right? So you're over here, let's pay like $2 for like $10 worth of electricity. So when you are doing that, you're cheating the next person, that's correct? Cor that's corruption. All right, so that's, that is cor corruption. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's start from the inside. 
Mm -hmm. How about you pay for all the points that you, you, you are getting at, at the house? Let's start there before we even go over here. Because yes, the Russians can come in and, and do the yeah, electricity, but, but, but if nobody's paying for it and everybody's using illegal connections, it's still going to be the same problem. That's true. But, there is, but it's I don't know if you guys get it. It's like it's repeating itself. This is okay. When, when the British came over, they were like, okay, we got something that we can, o okay, we can yes. offer you something that, you know, but that it's may not free, help. You pay, yeah. Not knowing that we're ha helping them even more because of our natural resources. Yeah. So, so it's just like these Russian people, I'm not saying they're bad people, but Russian people, they have their own problems. Why okay. are they coming to Nigeria for? Okay. Why? They, why? Well, because if Nigerians can do it, they would have done it, right? Yeah. Because this Nepal, you guys call it Nepal? Yeah, Nepal. Ne this it's PSC, this Nepal now. problem Power, has we'll, been we'll there we'll for ages and ages and ages, mm -hmm. right? So somebody, it, there's no problem with another country coming in to help. You That's just have to negotiate thing. it right so you, you know exactly Charlie, what to pay. What is the deal that they're signing? Sorry. Charlie, understand that 40% of Nigeria is struggling with light. Yeah. When Nigeria is producing enough oil to probably light up the whole West Africa. It's not even oil. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oil. We're living in 2017. Where there are schools in Nigeria, where there are educated Nigerians that are engineers and chemical this and all of that, that live abroad. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that all these people, the government, can't get together Nigerians and build a power plant in 2017 in they Africa? Can. That is a big problem. They can. And the the point that Stray is trying to make is, when are we, West Africa, when are we going to stand on our own and our two feet mm. and not let other people use us? She is absolutely right. They are guesstimating that it is the 18, mm. 18, million, 18 no. million pounds deal, mm. which is $20 million. So you're giving $20 million to a Russian company when Nigerians are struggling? Not, not 18 million pounds, billion, 18 right? billion pounds which is $20 billion. There's no health care, there's no school. That is ridiculous. Can exactly. I, can I it just goes to show that it goes back to what the problem in Nigeria, corruption. Somebody must be taking a check somewhere. So can I, can I come in here, sorry, can I just be honest with you with the facts? The fact is that Nigerians can do this. Mm -hmm. Nigeria has the technical know-how. We even have hydroelectricity. And probably the smartest we, Africans, West of Africans we as well. Of course we are. We have hydroelectricity, right? We have 12 power plants in the country. One is in Sapele, Delta State, that supply outside Nigeria, even yeah. up to Ghana. Yeah. We give you guys electricity. Find out about that. It's a fact. Yeah. But we, Nigerians, don't have that electricity. Do you know why? Like you said, corruption. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you why there's a problem. The problem is there are people in power. These people make money from importation. Importation of what we call power plants. Generator. Locally called generator. I yeah. better pass my neighbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these people don't want them to pass these bills for constant electricity because of the money they make from importation of power. Of po yeah. So we can provide the power, but we don't want to provide the power because of corruption. Hey, mm -hmm. that's you get the point. My point. That is why they are settling for the international companies because they know that when these ones come in, definitely we can't hide anything again. We can't say who did they give the contract because they give people contract, but these people don't execute the contract. Yeah. Mm. They can do it, yes, but they don't want to do it because of corruption. Okay, fine, we'll take it off from your hand and give it to the other people. That is horrible. Let them deal with it. So that's a problem already, corruption. That's a problem. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm happy that they're giving 20 billion U.S. To somebody dollars outside. to an yeah. international mm -hmm. company. But it's a shame. I'm sorry it's to a, say. It's a, it's a big shame. It's a, like I, w I was very, very saddened about it when I read about this. I was like, you know, first of all, with all the oil in Nigeria, mm. as you said, if you guys are, produ are producing Ghana with light, Nigeria should be producing all of West Africa with light, they with can. light, and all of Nigeria should have light. They that can. this should be a fact. This is a waste of our money. And on top of that, the company is called Rosatom or something like that. The company is going to be in charge of the plant after they build the plant. And then maintain it, and then wow. after a while, before they hand it over oh my God. to Nigeria. I don't know about that handing over, though. Mm. Mm. But yeah, it is a shame. Know. And do you know what else is a shame? Is there was a concert. <laughs> oh, and yes. nobody showed up. What's going on? Let's go. Okay. So <laughs> this segment goes back to what I always talk about, which is which are culture vultures. Yeah. So the the story is that Omarian, who is an American R and B singer from B to K all of a sudden is an Afrobeat star or an Afrobeat musician. He's been doing a lot of Afrobeat songs, flying to like Uganda and yeah. South Africa, Wait, shooting music move? videos. No, it is, it is a for culture him. vulture move okay. for him. <laughs> so he decided to have like, you know, a series of shows in, West in Africa. 
and he decided not to show up for the press conference, which is ridiculous, because if you're visiting the country for the first time, clearly you have to do a press conference, get interviewed, talk about the show you're going to do. He said that the flight was too long and that he was tired. He wasn't feeling okay. well. So he didn't show up for the press conference. So guess what the Namibians did? They boycotted the show, and mm. guess what? Nobody showed up. I mean, literally 10 people showed up to the show. Oh, yeah, no. Hmm. Imagine a person as big as Omar here goes to a country in, in Africa, and only 10 people show up for the concert. I like that. I'm not a hater, but I like that. I love that because, because they... First of all, you, you fly into a country like that. It's protocol to do press conference. Mm -hmm. The people need to know what you're made of, what you're here for, the impact you're going to have in the society. Are you just going to come on stage and be jumping like a monkey? What is the importance? What's the economic importance of your presence? They mm. need to understand that. Not even that. economic, just overall. To an extent, overall, because you're going to make yeah. money off that, peop that country. You're going to make money from them through your concert, right? At least when artists like Davido, Whiskey, they go around Africa, they do press conference. Okay. It's normal. Yeah, I was about to say, Whiskey went to the other side with his music, you know. He's, mm -hmm. He mentioned it. And I'm not that smart business. You said it was smart for him to be going into Afrobeat. It is smart. Mm -hmm. But the smart thing he didn't do is he didn't do it right. Okay. He should have appeased the gods, Nigeria, Afrobeat. He should have come to but, us first and beg for collaborations <laughs> with people like Whiskey. You know, you yeah, don't just jump into our culture. But my just Nigerians like that. are smart. My Nigerians are not just going to give away their culture and give it like that. And that's the problem that blacks have been facing all of out since we existed. Things just keep getting taken away from us. Rock and roll was started by a black man, blues was started by a black man. Right now, when you look up all these things, you see white faces. You know, thank God that we're creative enough, creative enough that, like, even though th this keeps happening to us, we keep reinventing new music. Yeah. You know, like, you know, now we have, like, trap music, mm -hmm. like, and all these things. But that's exactly what Omarion tried to do. He mm. saw Afrobeat was popping. All of a sudden, you're in Uganda shooting Afrobeat music, South doing Africa. Afrobeat um, yeah. dance challenges, and it's it's ridiculous. Stick to your R&B music that you do. But why? No, why, can't, why can't he do that? I why disagree. can't he bring exactly. something different? Exactly. Drake did I it, disagree. I disagree. Yeah, which I kind of disagree but on, but... Do the right way. The, the, what, what is the right way, first of all? What is the right way? First of all, there's two ways you go. The right way is you don't just hear a sound, take the beat, go sample that's it That's not what studio. he did. We could sit here and say that. I mean, but that, distance. That's not what he did. He didn't wake up one day. That too bad. But that's Afrobeat. Yeah. Afrobeat. Hold on. But that's not what he did. He didn't wake up and say that. He's starting to wear the shiki outfits now. He's really white. I think he's embracing like the African culture. Is that not cultural appropriation? He's black. No, he's not black. So you were saying... You are, I am surprised that you were saying this because you are always all about them taking from us. So you were but saying, hold on, black. let me finish my thought. <laughs> he doesn't okay, even know so what country he comes from in Africa. So how come he wasn't repping Africa when he was part of B2K and selling millions hey, of dollars? Listen, listen. He wasn't repping okay, Africa. He wasn't aware. He wasn't in no, that surrounding. Yeah. He's following now, the trend. Okay, I gotta come in now because forget, I haven't spoken forget, like okay, in a while. Okay. Okay. I really haven't. Oh. Can I, so I gotta come in, please. What else? No, seriously. I love this. Yeah, you're gonna hear my opinion. My thing is. Let's, let's stop. Stop with all of a sudden you take it from us, you take it from us. No. <laughs> Omari has done several interviews saying that he, um, Afrobeat, he's inspired. Mm -hmm. If you inspire me for me, the more the merrier. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's all do it. You guys over here, oh, same people promoting One Africa. One Africa, One Africa, One Africa. This is a guy that see, sees a good thing and wants to be part of it. What are, why are you sitting here saying that, oh, all of a sudden, no, you're not welcome. Who are you to welcome him or not to welcome him? <laughs> he, he's inspired is by she? it. Yeah, She's a proud a black oh. African woman from Ghana. Okay. She knows where she comes okay. from. Okay, and somebody wants to wants to be part of our culture? It's not bad. We're not saying okay. don't be so part of the culture. The I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying that he should not be part of the culture, but as T Money is saying, he should do it the right way. What even is the right way? Go to the shrine. Listen to the French Montana. Do you know there's something, there's even, something we can, see, let me say okay. this really quickly. Even French Montana, who is an African, but always did rap music. When he started doing Afro beats, not only did he start a charity in Uganda, but start a business so in Ghana. So is that what you wanted? You yeah, want you money? gotta do it the right you way because Africans are struggling. You want money? I don't want money for me, <laughs> but go charity? there and invest. Do so, stuff. So you want charity? You want, is that what you wanted? I don't want that is not the right, to go there. But what you're saying no, is not the right it way. It is the right way. It's you not the right credit. way. That's Same why I said drink. economic importance. You're coming into a total new culture entirely. Yeah. You are inspired, yeah. right? So fine. You're welcome. Now you don't even go for your press conference. Come on. He, what are you saying? Was so great. He, he was, was, he was so tight. at least show up for 10 minutes. 
say a few no, things. Listen, that would not have killed him, Nestrea. If he stood up for 10 minutes and left, and then his that would have been, so yeah, red. that would have been like, oh, you don't have time for us, you only came for 10 minutes. <laughs> listen, the man was tired, the man was during long flight. <laughs> how long? 12 hours, so how many hours? So you can't hours? do press conference after the concert? Has he not been you doing world that? tours, going to you Europe, going that? to other parts of the Leave world? Leave or marry Now you come to Africa, we are not so important, you are tired, you want to sleep. Yeah, he's tired. On your concert, we are tired, we want to sleep, we are not coming for your concert. All right, so be there, so now you're bored. At home, Wait, and you didn't come to the concert. I but watch whiskey. What? But guess I'm not what? Bored. And on top of that, what we'll African side, promoter? What African <laughs> promoter is gonna side. book you after this? Oh, like, please. do you realize that he just messed up a huge? The only way he can put on a new show in Africa, he would have to have Davido or Whiskey or T. Yeah. He would have to have somebody else on the no, bill with him. No no you guys are saying that the right way to do it is do charity, bring money, leave him alone. No, it's not. He hasn't said anything bad about Africans. He is. He's inspired. He wears our clothes. He's inspired by it. Like, look at the beauty side of it. You guys always want to nitpick every little thing. Leave or marry alone. No, no, no. Don't get so angry. But can <laughs> I, 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 drop no, I'm not can angry. I, drop I never point. get angry on this no, show, I'm, by I'm the way. I just want to let you guys know. I'm just passionate about what I say. Aww. No angry. But so can I ahead. drop this point? There's something we call um um. Sometimes artists sue other artists for stealing their sounds, mm -hmm. stealing their lyrics, whatever, whatever, copyright and stuff. Okay, Drake. Fine. We're angry with Drake, but Drake was smart. Man. He asks other people in UK, what's happening? What's the what's the new sound? Everybody's like, man, it's whiskey, it's Afrobeat. What did he do? Call that Collab. boy. Let's do a collaboration That's so I can I say my say. name. But not I, I, listen, I, I, I not just oh, ah, Afrobeat is I like that beat. Let's make yeah. that beat on but, our mm -hmm. own. Let's oh. jump on it. So on he didn't our use own. Own. he didn't use somebody that knows something about Afro Afrobeat to do no, the no, beat. No, 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 he didn't no. use Omar, no. how I you know? So. How Wait, you can know? I say something? Drake yeah. did use somebody's song, Black Coffee song. I don't know if you heard. But Black Coffee is away. Black Coffee, Black okay. Coffee even he came over, PDD saw him, everything, you understand? Black Coffee sampled the beat for him. He did not sample the beat for him. That song was But Black sick. Coffee's name was dead. Tell him. Sick. But they didn't release it until the views. They came out with well, the views, the, the new album. But the point that he, he, he did, did it, he but he didn't bring it out because he it. knows the implication. Then until oh, he had a relationship because with Black didn't Coffee, go to that conference, then he released it. Hey. Right? Listen, the guy in Namibia, <laughs> it's I'm a with long, you, Namibia. it's a long, no, I know, it's like 14 hours to get to where, to Nigeria? No, I can um, tell. Namibia. Well, I'm just saying, for me, like, let's say mm. if I'm going to Nigeria, it's 14 hours, I'll be tired. You need to take tired. a direct flight, you need to, okay. you need to use yeah, expensive I, I, flights. I, I, well, I'll book I, you. I, I, tired. I'll book he was tired, he was tired, he missed the press like conference, who to do, who cares? I'm with you, when I read this, I was very inspired by it, I'm glad that the people came together and stuck together and boycotted his show. They need to do this more and they need to do it too. And anytime something is wrong, if they're dealing with your president, whatever, you as a people, you stand up for your rights and you stand up for what you yeah, believe don't be in. Up for the and right we reasons. can sit here and we can say whatever we want to say, but at the end of the day, my opinion, Omarion just messed up like his credit in Africa. It's going to take a lot for him to I just have to book, this book a show. So. In Africa. It's so over. Mario, you're okay. always this welcome in like Ghana. Last week Come to Ghana, and you're it's welcome. Over. Okay. Come to Af um, Nigeria and do the right thing, you're welcome. We'll is, give you beats. Right Afro thing. beats. Exactly. Uh, beats. <laughs> we'll give you beats. Deshreya, thank you for being joining us <laughs> here oh, once again and bringing me. that juice and bringing I your try, hair try, as well. Try. We appreciate Thanks for you. bringing your hair. We appreciate you and your hair as well. <laughs> but we gotta go. Make sure you tune in next time right here on Mimi TV. This is AB Your Show. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.